Hey guys, first and foremost, I'm not a tutorial guy, but if you are here, you ran into the same problem that I did last night. I spent hours trying to find the solution and I happened to stumble upon a comment on a page somewhere that referred to another comment. I just mentioned, try it on your PC. So I did, and this is how I did it. I'm gonna try to do it as best I can in real time so that you can follow along and we can make this happen. So first and foremost, <clears throat> you have an Echo uh, first gen Echo Plus. It will not connect to your system. You may have gotten close on your phone, but then you it didn't go through, you tried it again and it won't discover it at all. So I'm going to reset this one and start from scratch so you can so I can show you exactly how I did it. And I had two of these. These are amazing for being second generation. So if you have the chance to pick some up, grab them because I'm going to show you how to hook them up to your system. And you can rock out just like everybody else. So first and foremost, we're going to plug it in. You're also going to need something like this because we're, we're going to reset the entire system. If you have more than one, <clears throat> you're going to want to write the name on it because we need to find it on your um, through your network. It's going to take a little bit to boot up. Once it gets to a certain point the light on there, you're going to turn it upside down. You're going to take this, you're going to reach in, and you're going to hold that for eight seconds. You see how it changed color? It lets you know it's going to reset back to uh, factory settings. Give it a little more time. Bam. That's the first step. And then you're going to wait until it's takes about a minute give or take and then you're going to it's going to continue to go blue it'll make a cool noise and she'll let you know that she is in setup or repair mode now I need to stress that if you purchase this from someone second hand and they didn't uh, unregister or deregister it from their system it may be more difficult to do I luckily had picked these up on Facebook Marketplace. I got this one and another and another one, but in black, and two other smaller ones because I wanted to move some to my to my clinic. And so I was able to contact them and say, "Hey, did you do this?" And they verified that they had deregistered it. So that was one less thing. But during the course of the headache of trying to figure this out, I was freaking out, thinking maybe they just <laughs> they didn't give me the right information. So as we wait, and I apologize for dragging this out, but we're going to do this in real time. So if you would have done this. From the get-go, this is how long it will be taking you, and so I I hate tutorials where they skip steps or they speed up and you gotta keep pausing and and whatever the case may be. But I'm gonna do this in real time, so we can do it all together. And so now I'm just talking to fill space. And once this connects or goes into the the reset mode you're done with this just leave it plugged in and we'll walk you to the other thing and once we have it set up you can unplug it and move it wherever you want to go once it's on your system and connect it to your network she was taking her time didn't she There she goes. All right. Hello. Your device is ready for setup. Just Kay. follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Now at this point, she's been reset and she's ready to go. And if you've already done this step, this is where you really start to get frustrating. So now we're gonna move on over to the computer. So now you've reset the device. It's verified that it's reset. And now we're back to factory. So we're starting from scratch. So what we need to do is we're gonna be on a PC or a laptop. Do not be on an Android phone, an Android tablet, an Apple phone, or an Apple tablet. Now, it may work on an Android device, but if that worked, you wouldn't be here. I tried this last night for hours on an iPhone.
iPhone 12, an iPhone XR, an iPad Air 2, and an iPad Pro 11. It would not work. Never tried it on a laptop, but I'm doing this on a PC. So our first step is going to go to your, your web browser. And in here, you're going to type in alexa.amazon.com. And it's going to bring you to this screen. You're going to put in your credentials your, that you would log into your Amazon Alexa app or your Amazon account in general. Should be the same password and all that stuff. So anyway, you're going to do that. Sign in. What it's going to do is going to bring you to this page, which is a basically a full version of your Amazon app, but it's going to look a little bit different, but it's going to have everything here except for a few minor changes that are not in the app that we couldn't access when we would go online and find tutorials or have a description from Amazon on how to hook up the Plus, right? So first step is going to go to settings. Inside settings, you're going to click set up new device. This is where it changes. You see down here in the lower left, Echo Plus. That wasn't in the regular Amazon app. So that's why we probably couldn't do it. So we come, go through the process. Now, and you can walk through. Let's go to Echo Plus, connect to the, let's get our Echo Plus connected to the Wi-Fi so we can start using it. Click continue. You already know the orange light is going because we reset it. And she told us she was reset and ready to connect. Click here. Now, here you're going to go up to your Wi-Fi settings. You're going to open that up. And now you're going to find your device. I wrote mine on the bottom, as you can saw, you, you can see from the video. But I put it there because I have more than one. So you're going to click on here and you're going to click connect. She's going to let you know when the time comes. It's connected. Now go back to the Alexa. Boom. So now you're going to go back to the, isn't the app, but you're actually going to go back to the browser. You see that the browser had changed. So now we're going to click continue. Find your network. And this may take a little bit of time. But this is where you probably got to this point at some point with your mobile device and you got stuck. See right now she the It looks like this device isn't registered. For help, go to your Alexa app. So now we're stuck. So let it run through. It may take a few minutes, but she's doing her thing. So now she should have a purple ring. To let you know that something went wrong. So we're going to go back in the app. We're going to go to where was that settings. So now right here, it's going to show up. For me, it shows up as Jeremy Second Echo, but I know that that's what it is because I've already done this. So if you have all your other Echo devices listed and named, then you're going to be okay. You're going to click on this. You're going to scroll down to right here where it says this registered to your name. Right? It's going to give you all that. So you're going to deregister it. I don't know why this is the, the big, huge step. Now you're going to go back up again and you're going to repeat the process. But you're going to want to hold down the button to reset her. Um, so that she goes back into. So now you're pressing on the button with the dot on top of her to put her back into setup mode. So she registered, then you got to deregister it, and then go back to the process we already did. Go back to it, wait for it to pop up, add it again, connect. She's going to say, All right, I'm going to go through processes again. Now you've already put in, it's grabbing your password. I've already done this part. You may have to type in the password and such. I don't remember, but we're going to go through the process one more time. Like I said, I could edit all this out, but this is how long it takes. And so I want it. So if you're following along, follow along with me and won't get as frustrated. Wonder, did I miss a step? Did I forget something? What did I do? You see it finished this time. Remember last time it hung about halfway through or a little bit further. Setup mode is off. Just a moment while this device reconnects. Now, setup mode is off. Wait till it, just a minute until it reconnects. That right there lets you know you've done it. It's just that simple. You've probably been killing yourself for hours or days, whatever the case may be. 
So those are the steps. Oh, that's all you had to do was just that right there on your PC. You may work on a Mac. Either way, you're going through a browser. And right there, your Echo Plus is online. Click continue. It's going to take you back to the app. Wait, let's go back to settings. And it's right there. Boom, we're online. So I hope it helped you out because it drove me insane. Like I said, for a couple of days, please give me a like, give me a comment. If you didn't like what I did, if I drug it out too long, if it didn't work for you, let me know because I'm obsessed <laughs> with getting these up and running, but they work so well. This is my first one. I have several third gen dots. I have the eight, I have the five, but this bad boy is amazing. I'm going to pick up a whole bunch. One, because they're going to be dirt cheap because people can't connect them because they didn't go through these steps. So I'm going to pick them up for a great price and they sound amazing i would say it's right now it's up on par with my eight the five it, out, it outperforms the the echo show five but it's right there on with the show eight and at a great price these right now are you can go to amazon right now and pick them up for like 40 bucks with free shipping or catch them up on facebook marketplace i got two of these and two dots uh first gen for 60 bucks on facebook uh live anyway like subscribe comment let me know if this worked for you. Give me all your ad adoration. Give me all your praise. Good luck. And I hope you never have to do a tr another tutorial again. If so, I'll see you next time. Dr. Chet out.